Reading is awesome. And so are you. And so is the book we're going to read today. It's called Snowman at Christmas. Written by Carolyn Boehner. Pictures by Mark Boehner. And do you know what Mark Boehner did in his pictures on each page? Hidden somewhere on each page is a cat a rabbit, a Santa face, a brown mouse, and a T-Rex. Sometimes they're very obvious, and sometimes you really have to look for the cat, rabbit, Santa face, brown mouse, and T-Rex. Let's get started with a story. Snowman at Christmas. On Christmas Eve, I made a snowman, very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in red and green and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. It made me start to wonder, how do snowmen celebrate? I think that while I'm snug in bed, dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowmen slip away and hurry through the streets. They glide down snowy avenues with lamplights all aglow. The sleeping city blanketed in freshly fallen snow. They pass by toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at holiday delights. Hmm. It really does look like the city streets have a blanket of snow. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party in the center of town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings. All their friends and family so happy to be meeting. Mm -hmm. It's always great to see friends and family at Christmas time. A few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon holly and icicles are strung everywhere. And then reaching high for everyone to see they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. Wow, that is a ginormous tree. <laughs> Much bigger than the tree in my house. How about at your house? The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack till they wobble right over. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats, ice cream and snow cones and dainty iced sweets. Mmm, yummy. Yes, please. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle. All the snowmen line up and sashay down the middle. Dance party, dance, 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 dance. These snowmen know how to celebrate. 
they do it right. Everyone's having so much fun. But I do wonder where that cat, rabbit, brown mouse, T-Rex, and Santa face are in all these pictures. We'll have to come back to that at the end of the story. Someone says, hush, could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman, Kris Kringle. He opens his sack with a jolly ho ho and pulls out their presents, each made out of snow. Oh, how fun. Each gift is made out of snow. Of course, that's what a snowman would want. It's perfect. Oh, I see that dog drooling. I have a dog named Bimo who drools a lot. Hmm. I can't tell if those earmuffs are a cat or a bear or another animal, but they're cute. I like them a lot. Santa sips his cocoa, the reindeer romp and play, and then with a whistle, they're off on their way. Such fun snowmen have, but there's still one more thing. With hearts full of joy, they hold hands and they sing. While the fiddler plays and sweet silver bells ring, they sing songs about snow and the birth of a king. Do you know a song about snow? Hmm, something like dashing through the snow. Hmm, I bet you know that song. The children are sleepy. The grown-ups are yawning. The snowmen go home just as Christmas is dawning. Oh, oh, they're tired. They're all back in their places when Christmas Day starts. But these folks, made of snow, have a glow in their hearts. Their smiles are more tender their eyes softly shine as a snowman dream dreams of their Christmas time. Merry Christmas! Wasn't this book delightful? So much fun. And the artwork was incredible. Now that's great, but also a challenge for me because I don't have the best camera to show you all these critters. The cat, the rabbit, the Santa face, the brown mouse, and the T-Rex. You may have to go to a library and check this book out. But let's give it a go. Let's see what we can see with my camera. I think it's a cat. And 
I think that is a rabbit. A bunny rabbit. And over here, I think this is a Santa face. There's the brown mouse. He's the easiest to find. And look, there's the T-Rex right there. Underneath the snow dog is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's try another page. There's the cat. Here's the rabbit. And in the hat is the Santa face. You see it? The Santa face is in the hat. And then in the glove is the little brown mouse. And the last one, the T-Rex. It's hard to see, but you can kind of just see him there. And the dog. There's the head, here's the body and the feet, and there's the tail. So that's all the hidden pictures on this page. What's that? Do you see it? And how about here? Do you see that? And look what's there. And on the nightstand, there's a little brown mouse. The hardest one for me to find on this page, and I have to admit, I may not have it correct, but I think in the snow, right? Oh my goodness, it's so hard to see. I think right here is the Santa face. But I admit, I could be wrong. I think you should go to the library and check out this book and see if you can find the Santa face on this page. Because that one may not be it. I can't, yeah, that may not be it. You'll have to let me know. It took me a long time to find all the hidden pictures on this page. It did. And one of the reasons why it was so hard is one of the hidden pictures is in the crack of the book. You really have to hold it out. I don't know if you can even see it. Can you see the rabbit there? Right underneath my thumb is the rabbit but it makes it very hard to see. So let's see what we've got. Over here in this wreath is the cat. Down here is the mouse. The Santa face is underneath the dog, right there. The Santa face, the T-Rex is at the top of the building right there, right above the snowman's head. And then that bunny rabbit was way, way down in here. It's just hard for me to show it to you. It's, it's, you get the idea. It's right there. That's the bunny tail right there. And then the bunny's right there. Whew, that was a challenge. I mean, this one was easy. That guy, Santa face, easy. Mouse, easy. Cat, a little bit tricky. T-Rex, a little bit tricky to find him up there. But my goodness, the bunny rabbit, very hard to find. Whew, but we did it. We did it together. Yay. Let's start with the easy one, the mouse. Right there, 
That's easy peasy. There's the mouse. Go straight up from the mouse. And there's the cat. Now he is also not this way. He is in the air that way with his legs going towards the light pole and his tail hanging down low towards the ground. And remember I said Santa's face was in the lights? Right there. And those lights. So, mouse, cat, Santa face. That means we need to find the rabbit and the T-Rex. All right, to the Christmas tree. And you can see the rabbit right there. And then almost upside down, that's the T-Rex's head. Here's his body and that's the tail. He's in green right there. And it almost looks like these three lights are his belt. Bunny rabbit, T-Rex. Mark Boehner, you did a great job with the pictures for this book. Kudos to you for making it so tricky to find that T-Rex. Right there. Oh, are you having as much fun as I am trying to find all these hidden pictures? Okay, hidden animals, where are you? I'm going to start with Santa's face. It's in the tree. That's his beard. That's his eye twinkling. So his face is all right there. Kind of a Santa hat. That's his nose under my candy cane. There's his white beard and mustache. Santa's face. And then much smaller is the T-Rex. There's a T-Rex and he is green. A nice green T-Rex underneath the Santa face. And then look all in white, the bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. T-Rex, Santa face. So that leaves, hmm, the cat and the mouse. The cat and the mouse. The cat and the mouse. Well, there's the mouse. And there's the cat. They're so close to each other, cat and mouse. Santa face, T-Rex, bunny rabbit. Oh my goodness, there is so much going on in this picture. It's going to be a challenge but thankfully, most of the animals are right together in this hat. So there's the T-Rex right there. There's the head, there's the tail, there's the feet. And then the cat is right there. Head, legs, tail. And the mouse is right there. And there's bunnies right here. I don't know if it's that if that is the bunny specifically. That is a bunny. So I'm counting it. There may be another bunny on this page. But you're going to have to believe me when I show you the Santa face because it's in the building. You it's like a shadow. Here's Santa's hat up there. 
You can see his mustache there, his eyes just above the mustache. See the Santa face? And the cat and the mouse and the T-Rex and bunny rabbits. Where to begin, where to begin? Let's start with the Santa face. Right there. See his nose and his mustache. And right above Santa is the bunny. And then you got T-Rex right there. And the cat and black and running away is the mouse. That was very clever to put the Santa right there. Do you remember that on one of the pages, the T-Rex was kind of upside down? And once the cat was kind of upside down, well, this time Santa's face is upside down. So that's his hat. There's his mustache and his beard. There's Santa's face. And then we see in yellow lights, we see the cat outlined right here. And the cat's face is at the, looking towards the top of the page. Legs are out this way, tail towards the bottom. So that is the cat. Then we have the bunny right there. All that's left is the T-Rex. Where are you, T-Rex? Just like the cat was in the tree, the T-Rex is upside down. There's his head coming up his body. There's his feet, his little arms. So there's the T-Rex and the cat and the bunny and the mouse. Santa's face. Wow. Each picture gets more interesting when you look for the hidden pictures. So many of the hidden pictures are blue on this page. Do you see the Tyrannosaurus Rex? His head and his feet and his tail, he's blue. And then the cat is blue. There's a cat head right underneath my candy cane. I covered it up and then there's the cat. And there's the bunny. The bunny is brown, but it's a cute bunny. And the mouse is brown very close to the cat. And way up here, looking again kind of like a shadow, is Santa's face. You can see his beard and his hat. It's hard to see with his camera, but that is Santa's face. And of course, that's Santa's face, but it's not hidden. What do you know? The cat is blue again. There's the cat. And in the lights, Santa's face, his hat, his beard, speaking of hats, there's a mouse on the hat. Here's a T-Rex upside down again, with his head right there, and his tail right there. That's the T-Rex. Blue cat, mouse on a hat, Santa face. I'm going to let you discuss
discover the rest of the hidden pictures yourself. One day when you're holding this book in your own hands, whether you've checked it out from the library or you've borrowed this book from a friend, you can look for the cat, the rabbit, the Santa face, the brown mouse, and the T-Rex on the last few pages of this book. But this page where the snowmen have joined hands and sing songs about snow, I thought we could sing a song about snow. Ready to sing with me? Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. You know what else was fun? Reading this book with you. I thought it was awesome. You know what else I think is awesome? Reading. Reading is awesome!